it, you know, it was a pretty impressive first half, I guess, then the first 45 seconds of the second half make like it um, pretty difficult to take. Um, I'm really, I mean, I thought we knew what we, we would expect here coming to Manchester City, um, top team with top players, uh, and we had to have an awful lot of tactical discipline, defensive work rate, and I thought we did that very well in the first half. Although even then, they've still created chances. Um, Silver's put one wide. Um, Sterling get, gets in behind a couple of times, but I thought we also showed enterprise when we won the ball back. I thought our attacking transitions you know, uh, allowed us to get on the front foot at times, and you know, goalkeepers made a good save from John McGinn as well. So we were the happier team to go in at, at zero all, um, you know, and I wanted more of the same. And unfortunately, 46, 46 seconds in, and you know, the good work's gone, so to speak. and we see Manchester City for the intricate passing movements and the patterns and you know sit back and applaud the goals this one was a 70 yard punt from the goalkeeper and um, defensively we didn't deal with, with it well enough Tyrone should have headed it clear but if he didn't then Bjorn and Fred should have been in better defensive positions to deal with it and if you give top players like Sterling opportunities like that then you'll get punished Walsh yeah. Uh, what was your view on the, the VAR? I mean, it took a hell of a long time to reach a decision. Um, well, there's a few. Still, not, not certain whether he touched it, whether he was off or not. Well, there's a few of them today, wasn't there? I mean, there was four in the first half, I think, two hand balls for, for them, two for us. Um, but I never expected any of them to be given. You know, uh, subjective decisions in the penalty box um, seem to leave it to the on field referee. But the second goal. You know, I was disappointed with how we defended the short corner, to be uh, to be honest. Uh, but then I get back in the dressing room after and see it. David Silva scores the goal. I, I think it, has it been given to De Bruyne or the, the, the Sil- um, David Silva? De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Yeah, there's probably a get out of jail for the officials then because Silva certainly touches it and goes away celebrating that he's touched it, which uh, is a bit of a, a giveaway who's touched it and scored. Um, but when he touches it, Sterling's in an offside position and clearly impedes the goalkeeper. Hi, Dean. Hi. How's Jack? Is he t- t- took a knock coming off today? Yeah, to be honest, I wanted to get him off just before that. Um, he was obviously on a, a caution, um, you know, and uh, I just thought last 10 minutes get him off. And then he's just got a whack on the calf, so, uh, you know, too early to see. We'll, we'll wait on Monday. What's your assessment on Jack today? Yeah, he, he done well. I mean, he carried the ball to them, um, showed some really good a good bits of play defensively as, as well as offensively, um, you know. Probably got frustrated a little bit when we was two, two goals down, like a few of them did. And the hardest part to have in a game is emotional control when you know we've made a couple of mistakes and uh, you know probably for five minutes um, you know wanted to get on the ball a little bit too much. But all in all, decent performance again. Did your first time up against Manchester City? What did you learn about your team today? I've learned that we can handle the, the pressure, the situation. Um, you know, but there's got to be concentration all the time, and there's also lessons to learn from them. The way they play, I mean, as a team, the shift that they get when you have when you're on the ball is excellent. They show great compactness, um, you know, and just a great understanding of where the balls are going to go. They pick up a lot of second balls that probably goes unnoticed because of you know all their intricate play. Um, you know, but the the way they use the space in behind you is probably one of the best best things uh, Sterling for me is pretty much unplayable at the moment um, it, it's so so is his form and he makes great runs in behind and he not only goes in behind he can check at full pelt as well and, and give you lots of problems Dean in, in general is there a reason why you're conceding more goals in the second half compared to first half um, the only reason today is because the opposition I suppose and the fact that we've made mistakes but I've not really looked at that there's certainly nothing to do with fitness or tiredness you know you're coming up against top teams and you've got to concentrate you know and I think history will tell you that most goals are scored in any league at the in the last 10 minutes of games brilliant thank you